Yo, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Welcome to the Wall Podcast. Bang, bang, boomerang in this bed. Uh, Ms. Ash in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> right for Tony. Hey. And what's then going we, on? Oh, what's going on? And then on? we got what's going on? We got Ambitious Ace in the building. Uh, Sir Jango is currently not here. He's feeding baby ducklings at a... At a uh, <laughs> At a pond right now. Yeah. And Leonard, so yeah. Really you gonna say Lennox? You know <laughs> he in the mall? <laughs> not <laughs> not Lennox. He not, in the fountain? He, he at Piedmont Park feeding the ducks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> feeding little ducklings. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but we got a special guest uh, with us today. Who um, that? Could you introduce yourself? Hi, guys. I'm D. Murray. I'm the host and CEO of FTO Nerd Talk. Yeah, I said CEO. That's right. That's what I'm hey. talking about. Man. Claim that ownership. CEO. You know what I'm C- saying? You remember that from BAPS? They were like, CEO. Remember? No. no. Holly Berry? No. <laughs> I know Holly Berry with the little head. <laughs> but we're very, very happy to have you. That's what's up. Thank you, guys. That was a cool it. story. Yes. So we... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so FTO nerd talk, yes. right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we 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 met you, you know, hit up us on the gram. We're very happy you're here. Yes, the old fashioned slide in the DMs. ATL <laughs> represent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, so what what brings you to nerd talk? Like what what inspired you to to start that? Um, since I was like I don't know, like twelve, maybe eight. I've mm. been into cartoons, TV show, movies, video games all the sorts um it wasn't until about maybe i don't know uh six years ago so i want to just start talking about this full on Natalie. i want to start uh talking about <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> he said finally <laughs> <laughs> apologies you got me <laughs> i just want to start talking about it. like you know mm-hmm. if i can make a profit off of it too then so be it but mostly i talk about art and like how people do their art and the politics behind stuff mm-hmm. like the politics behind dc i'm talking to him before about dc and like how they do stuff i talk about like stuff like that like nope. Zack snyder finding cut why isn't it out why does he want it to come out just like the batman versus superman cut why did that yeah. need to come out because it didn't need to come out <laughs> You know, just stuff like that. Yeah. Or like the video game yeah, stuff, the microtransactions, the loots, different types of artists who draw stuff, you know. I just like talking about all different types of nerdum and mm-hmm. nerdum. <laughs> and lately I've been putting um been putting politics inside there. So oh. I mean, it all kinda of works together. It does. How do you feel about this this climate of of nerdism? Do you feel like nerdism is still nerd or is it cool now? You know? It's still in that cool realm. Like yeah. people like think it's cool because um, Disney tells you it's cool. Oh, great. <laughs> well, I'm not step on some toes with that. <laughs> I, I I do not care for Disney. Just mm. letting you guys know. Okay, none so of it. Oh, so so, you, so you will not be a, a member on Plus. Plus. My my wife is a fan of Disney, but oh. I am not hold a fan on, of Disney. Yeah. I didn't mean to interrupt. No Toy Story. Uh, I have watched all three. Toy Story. I haven't seen the fourth one. I feel like I don't. Oh, I ain't, no one's seen that. One. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I cried on the third one. Like, you didn't like, like Toy like Story? A, I loved it. It just. Right, so you got some Disney in you. Well, it's, and that's it's, I feel like Disney. it's inevitable. I'm I'm torn mm. like with Disney. Like you know, I like the content. I don't care for their business. It's the same way I see about you know. That's fair. I feel like I, I shouldn't that. say this uh, about Stan Lee. You know, mm-hmm. the same thing about that. I. I, oh, I want to hear about this. Yeah. I, I don't know. I like what Stanley did. I like what he gave us. But you know, him as a businessman, not so much. Dang. He was very fortunate oh. in a lot of pockets. Is, in, is, in he, history. is he Birdman out here in these streets? Is uh, that, <laughs> let's, let's, was he Birdman? R.I.P. Rest in peace. Like I, I, I gave my condolences when like he passed on. Like, it hurt when mm. he passed away. Yeah, it's just the way he treated Jack Kirby. The way he treated a lot like a lot of the other artists and creators. Like. So no, he sounded like so that's a side, yeah. That's a side, that's he a side I've like heard of, man. you know, yeah. Because you think of Stan Lee, he's one of the creators. And oh, the guy in the cameos, oh my god, it's Stan Lee. What, where, oh, there he is, uh-huh. that's Stan Lee. Like, <laughs> he, he just, he you did know, become a kind of gimmick, but people did research him after, like, who's Stan Lee? Yeah, yeah. So I guess it worked in the sense. I guess, yeah. But yeah. Jack, Jack Kirby, man, yeah. like, uh, Steve Ditko, like, all like, all like the, the names back then, they. They did like the the hard leg work back then. Yeah, mm. Stan Lee was just like the face, like hey, true believer. He's the face. like Excelsior. You know, get yourself into like the new episode of Fantastic Four. And, oh, really? You need yeah. that though. You need you do. 
I'll you have to that. have the because the, the creators aren't trying. They're not trying to be in the no, spotlight. No, they're not hustling not. like that. No. So what do you think of Disney? Do you think Disney is just a monopoly taking over everything? They are, and they are. They are putting representation out there. They are like putting like people of color, LGBTQ characters. They doing like the new all female movie. They doing like all that stuff. They are doing all the things that make up for where they messed up at. I'm <laughs> not. I'm not denying any yeah. of that. It just, it sounds like you just don't like the business. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to get over it. That's it's understandable. It'll take some time. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying. You think about it. Think about Fair. it. Yeah. Disney's you give them a chance. House. That's cool. Disney's powerhouse. <laughs> yeah. They they are, and you know they've been like that since what the 50s. Yeah. They've yeah. been they've been around for a long time. I mean, it yeah. still hurts me to this day that mm-hmm. recently, just over like a uh, over a year ago, I found out that Lion King was stolen from Kimba. <laughs> yes. That hurt me because Lion King is jacked. rooted in my soul. And, like, and to know that that story was stolen. Stole. But that makes sense. That sounds like a Disney move. The the Let It Go song was stolen too. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Wasn't all their really? stuff stolen? A lot, a lot of, of their Oh, stuff. Dude. you killing all the little girls you're not playing. <laughs> <laughs> I hear all these little girls they, singing that song. They don't care. They're still singing they don't. <laughs> they, don't. <laughs> they didn't even care about Lion King. Apparently, it was like no. a throwaway movie. Or the, the, animation, yeah, Lion King. They the put Lion the worst, King? yeah, they put the worst animated. The live action or yeah. animated? The first Lion King. The first King. one. Oh. The one that's from. That's Kim. probably why they had so much free. I still care. haven't seen the live action. Neither of us. Me neither. I, I yeah, I, I, okay. I, I heard a lot of bad reviews. I heard it's gorgeous though. And you know, yeah. you know what's funny to me is that everybody kept saying that the new Lion King was like watching National Geographic. Little did I know, Disney owns National Geographic. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys never seen those charts, have you? I you guys never seen those charts of Disney and all the things they own? It, it's scary. I, I don't yeah, it is scary. Yeah. They own a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. This, so, man. um, accurate. Well, well, not not fun. You know what I'm saying? Shout I'm, out and no shout out to Disney at the same time. Yeah, I'm a downer. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. I gotta reevaluate. It's, but it's, but it's good to hear other perspective. <laughs> Do I like Disney? Yeah. I don't know. And I, I never told anyone what they should or shouldn't like. That's rude on my part. Just you know, that's just me. Like if you guys, if you guys had something on that was Disney, mm-hmm. and like you know, I was watching it with you. I watch it with you. I'd probably hate watch it, but <laughs> I watch it. I'd watch it with you. <laughs> that's fair. So 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 back to the interview questions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Since we sidetracked it so much, um, I do have a question as far as. I feel like in, sometimes in this space, um, mm-hmm. the word nerd is kind of like used as like like a gimmicky type of thing mm-hmm. now, where the, the true nerds, like the ones, you know, like in school, I liked anime, but I couldn't tell nobody. You no. know what I mean? Mm. So, um, but now it, it feels like it's the new hot topic and everybody's just trying to jump on that wave. Do you do you feel that being like a... An, a little bit here and there. Um, I mean, like you can see some parallels with, that, with other things too. Um trying to get like a good scenario with this like um being openly black in the world and like just being yourself in that aspect and now like having black being like the hot topic thing that everyone's trying to do and trying to be right now yeah like trying to copy all that stuff i know they've been doing that for years mm-hmm. so like like what's what's ours like rock and roll was ours and elvis made it like you know super yeah. cool mm-hmm. the beach boys that. stole like chuck berry stuff and made it theirs and like they yeah. reaped off that for a long time and I think nerdum is kind of the same way too in that aspect. Like mm. everyone's like, "Oh my God, everyone's doing this." Even like Megan Thee Stallion's dressed up like my uh, my Hero right? Academia character. <laughs> yep. Oh fire. man, like, like it, it was, it was cool. It was awesome. It was fire. But, like, but like that's that's how nerdum is, and like in. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to bring up Blur, but I feel like I shouldn't. Yeah. I've already talked about Disney. I want to be like a downer once, but like. <laughs> Speak like, your piece. Spill it. <laughs> um, Spill the tea. <laughs> I got mixed feeling when it comes to the word Blur, because I feel like it, it segregates us You know, into a box. that's the second really? time I've heard that this yeah, week. And was, not from this. I've heard it from another person that they said they hate the word Blur. A person of color? Yes. It puts us into a box. Yeah. And they said they yeah. hated that. And it's the exact same reason. Yeah. Uh, and like I, I will say this too. When I search on like Instagram, on Facebook, and stuff like that, I type in cosplay. I type in gamer. Mm-hmm. I don't see any people of color. I don't see any black people. Yeah. But when you type in blur, yeah, nah. it pops up. Exactly. I can see what you mean. Yeah. Like it's like we like it's in a box, but like you know we can reap from that box, but like it's kind of like a double edged sword, man. Yeah, and yeah. we could go really deep into we this. We could, but yeah. I feel not like to. <laughs> no, 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 it could no. it could go really deep, and I feel like. It, there's a lot of issues with that yeah. that go deeper than whatever. But yes. but also, it, the reason the other person was saying it was because it's like, you know, 
the reason they didn't like it is because you like what if you liked uh some cosplayer and you go to a blurred event and you dress up as that cosplayer but they're not black and then they're like oh you know why you dress up Mm. but they only want you to dress up as like a black anime character but you know it's it's like it's good to be separate sometimes but sometimes it ain't i I mean i don't like it's just preference it's that double-edged sword yeah it's double-edged sword it's just great because you get to find like-minded individuals yeah that's the good thing about it and like that's what nerdom was all about like when like people start calling themselves nerd geeks and dorks and stuff like that it's like hey and i always saw it as one collective i never saw it as a blurred different or or a word if if you you know now there's more (laughs) now like now now they're 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 there's Comic Gate now. There's Gamer Gate now. There's uh-huh. uh, now there's just cosplayers and there's people who do closet cosplay. Mm-hmm. That's too it's much. Like it's it's, That's too it's much all different about. branches all over the place. Now. That's too much to think about. Yeah. Do you think Blurred was just derived from the fact that? Because I I feel like it was made because of the fact that when I was growing up, if you were black, you couldn't be a nerd. Yeah. Couldn't. And it was just the fact like, oh, you like this stuff. You were like what them white people like. And yeah. Like that. So that's kind of how it was. That's kind of why I feel and like And that's the same attacked. issue. Yeah. But that's the same issue because it's like you have you have your community telling you that you can't do something because of and now you're in another community so, telling you so now it's you like can't it's do something. Yeah. It's, all, it's also empowering on top of like yeah. being in a box. Mm-hmm. So like yeah. again, it's like a triple edged sword thing. I mean, it was like yeah. a damn shirking you. That's why I said we could go deep. I ain't gonna we, could. <laughs> we could. We could. We really could. <laughs> Yeah, I, I truly feel like I truly feel like the word is kind of like I don't know if it's getting saturated, but you you mm-hmm. see it everywhere, and it's like you know when I was younger growing up, like I couldn't tell nobody I was into Naruto, you know, yeah. I couldn't really let people know that. I mean, for real, it took me to college until you I was laughing, able to feel comfortable. But he's serious. Yeah, I'm dead on. No, yeah, no, no I'm laughing. that's true. I'm laughing the, the, the way you find out other people like it you yes. slip up and then they be like, like you drop, yeah. your, you drop <laughs> your book and then you oh, look at it like I dropped my book it has yeah. Naruto so no one's supposed to see that it's shit like, oh right. shit right. I was in, in what middle school mm-hmm. and I loved Yu-Gi-Oh yeah I found some uh, this other uh, Mexican dude I knew he liked Yu-Gi-Oh he's like you like that oh word that's what's up mm-hmm. the next day he brought his own deck <laughs> <laughs> And he was it's like, yo, you ready? I'm it like, oh, one, man. Man. It that's, take one that's person. That's all it does. Yeah. yeah. That little peep. I used hey, to, doing, I used to draw like uh, Dragon Ball Z characters yeah, in class. Yeah, People used to like, oh, man, they're the black guy. I like Dragon Ball Z. And that's all they like. <laughs> that's what it was, though. And it sucked so bad. It did. And the culture it never did. appreciated us. You no. Know? Like, I remember in middle school, I had friends that used to, when Dragon Ball Z was hot, and uh, they used to charge up. Like, ah. <laughs> Ah, uh-huh. yeah, well, I do. And it'd be like you see the vein, and then people would be like, oh, "Hey, stay away from them guys." You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I was those guys. Like I, was, I ain't gonna I was, lie. As a, as a little girl, I used to do the same thing. Oh, really? Right on. I used to do the I same I thing. It, I know, no, I know. It's over there, but I. <laughs> I used to do this. I'm not gonna lie. I used to do saying that, but I could not tell none of my friends because none of my friends did that shit. They used Wait, to they used to watch like Moesha and, and you know. <laughs> UPN, <laughs> and yeah. we Atlanta based UPN, everybody. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just just saying. I mean that's what they were watching, I, and I used to be on the phone with them. We because we used to be on the phone as girls do, you know, in the middle school days. Guys, and guys you know, did I used too. to just yeah. letting you know. Oh really? Yeah. yeah oh, we did. Guys used to do that too? Like, oh, we, we, we're, not, we're not supposed to talk about it, but we I mean we, we was on Yahoo Messenger. Yeah. We was on a AOL. messenger too, AOL. Oh yeah. Okay. But yeah, I go down in the basement and watch my my anime. I watch the tsunami. I watch Dragon Ball. I watch um Batman Forever. It was Batman, the one with Batman the dude Beyond. Batman Beyond. That was my favorite. Okay. Okay. And um, I used to kick the ball at the wall and I used to try to charge up and do all this crazy shit. It was crazy. Uh, crazy. Can you imagine a black person charging up? He'd go from having like waves to afro. <laughs> Oh, that would be hard, that right? That sounds beautiful. A blonde afro. That sounds great. Imagine if we went Super Saiyan. Our oh, my skin, Our skin would just glow. Just glow. Oh, my God. That would be crazy. Super Saiyan. We all, Saiyan we all look like Lupita, rolls. dude. Oh, wow. my goodness. That would be great. I I you get long core rolls? <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, my God. Four B dreads, bro. Like Bob Marley oh. dreads. <laughs> Oh yeah, different. There you go. That's gonna be crazy. I'm daydreaming right now. Yeah, Sorry. It's like super sick waves or something like that. 360 waves. Hey, awesome. the, the same guy who created Cannon Busters should make like a Dragon Ball Z ish type show that does stuff like that. I want to see that. I, I yeah. would love to see more. That'd be crazy. I feel like there's more 
um, like you know, black animators. Oh. Mm-hmm. But I just haven't seen a lot of them on the mainstream. Maybe well, they're there. I just haven't seen. Stick, stick to twenty twenty because there's this guy I follow. Oh man, I wish I could shout him out, but uh, he's been in production with his first anime, and he's got a big old studio to do it. He's got mm. um some actual black talent, like big actors. Nice. Sign oh, on dope. Voice. I'll, wow. I'll put it in the description on something. Yes. But he's, there's one and there's another one I follow, but it's, it's starting to get bigger. It yes. is. And I think with the release of Cannon Busters, it's putting that. Amazing I feel like show. I should let all your, your viewers know that like I'm very pro-black. So okay. like I'm very about putting black people in the forefront. I hope, yeah. I don't want to offend anybody with that, but at the same time, I don't really care. So, you I know. Mean, <laughs> wait. It's emoji. <laughs> I mean, Wally said okay. the best. Oh, excuse me for promoting anybody black. Or I yeah. That's how the bar went. Yeah. I so, messed that whole area up. <laughs> but Wally said the same thing. Excuse me for rooting everybody black. That's just mm-hmm. how it I is. I mean, in, in the anime culture, I don't, I don't feel like um, black people are represented haven't really been represented well. No. Dragon Ball Z did a very poor job uh, of that. It's, it's, it's getting really better. It's getting was, it is getting literally a lot black. better. I mean, come on. Like lack of color. <laughs> and like pink lips. Are that you, was... Come on, Toriyama. Have you, um, have you seen really Carol on <laughs> yeah. Tuesday? Was that? Carol on Tuesday on Netflix. No. It stars... Um, one of the main stars is a black girl. And The singing one. Yeah. yeah. It, it's oh, a great yeah, that's, that's pretty good one. It, it, it's it's great. singing, It's though. ongoing right yeah. now. I mean... In Japan, they have already finished the second part. We should be getting the second part soon this fall. Mm-hmm. But uh, the way that she was represented on the show really, really well. Yeah. And, you know, it's actually a black actress that voices her. She does all the singing and everything. Mm. It's not like that boring show with, like, Jaden Smith, is it? Oh, mm. no, no. It's not. <laughs> I know which one you're talking about. I, I, I tried I to get into like that show. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. You got some of that. <laughs> We don't, we don't, that, we don't that, talk that about right that here at the wall. <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah, you can miss, you can, you can miss me. Yeah. Very disappointed. <laughs> <Yeah. All right. laughs> so he tries what, though. Would you would you say your goal is to pretty much bridge the gap or kind of bring a lot of these different communities together? Yeah. And Honestly, yeah, because so, I do post like some white people, some Latinx, some like, well, that just, like I, I try like to post like you know tons of people that I, I can. Like, <laughs> I don't focus only. I'm pro black, but I don't like you know. I, I do see other colors. I guess I should say. As we should, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I, yeah. But I'm meaning like as far as like you kind of kind of like bridging a gap with gamers, <laughs> cosplay, yeah. anime, and things in that nature. Just kind of all under like a one umbrella type of thing. It's not easy, but that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the gaming community like talking to each other. Like I don't care for GamerGate. Try to get the comic community because people don't mm-hmm. talk or read enough in my eyes. So yeah, true. I, 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 I yeah, haven't yeah. been I haven't been pushing comic books as much because I haven't had the time to read. Like that could be the problem why people don't read as much. But mm-hmm. I do like what DC and Marvel is doing. You know, I'm not reading Marvel, but that's a whole different <laughs> that's a whole different conversation. I mean, you know, you know who owns Marvel? Disney. Right? So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But I am. I'm trying to like I'm trying to bridge the gap. Like it's, it's a hustle. Studio. But it's a hustle also. Yeah. So with that, I guess getting these guys because you make a that's good point oh, that's fine. you make a good point as far as like especially here in atlanta you know i feel like a lot of there's a lot of great you know like creators and content creators or you know you know gamers and things like that but they're all pretty much spread out yeah you know i don't think we really interact too much with like other um crafts we artists need, we need to that. fix that okay yeah, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> we, need, we need we need to fix that Yes. Like, yes. You, guys, you guys are all yes. cool. I feel very safe oh, inside of you. here. Oh, that's it's, thank nice, you. it's nice talking about this. I don't, I don't feel you. bad for saying what I'm saying. <laughs> no, you don't feel, no, don't feel bad. Don't like, feel bad. But, like, you know, in other companies, mm-hmm. sometimes I have to hold back on what I'm talking about. And you guys, well, yeah. you guys don't do that. It's understandable. Here. But yeah. you, know, you have a free, free speech. It feels great. Yeah. It oh, feels fantastic. You. And, I, like, this should be the norm for everybody. It should. Yeah. It should. It should. It should, it should. My my biggest fear, as far as like the like this boom of like uh, nerdism, mm-hmm. you know, in Atlanta, has been growing so rapidly. My my fear is that like commercial companies will start coming in and just dropping buildings and pretty much profiting off of this energy. Yeah. And is that something that you think about? Yeah. Um. When I do my podcast, and I do my podcast from my cell phone, sadly enough. But uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta look at where we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, like, I try to put commercials inside mm-hmm. my podcast. Like, so when I take a break from like talking about a certain segment, 
I'll put a commercial and I'll make sure I find someone who's on either Instagram, YouTube, or Twitter and promote yeah, them dope. Dope. inside my commercial. Like, uh, I check out, I've told her before about uh, Head Nerd in Charge. Mm -hmm. I check out those guys. I'll do like, hey, check out Head Nerd in That's Charge on YouTube. Head check Nerd them out. Yeah. I thought, I thought I like that was that. hilarious. I, like I know. That. I had the same reaction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's they, so they, post, line, they, post a, they post a lot of, uh, I guess the term would be dank memes on their page. <laughs> okay. So, dank yeah. It's, uh, dank it, it, dank it, it, it crosses the line <laughs> of, of uh, humor. Yeah. Like, what the hell was that type of stuff? So, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you here researching y'all. <laughs> a whole <laughs> fool. Okay. There, okay. Is dank a bad word? Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that work. I'll say that to you. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Shout out, man. We we definitely uh, a big fan of that. Like I think one of our sayings is mm -hmm. a community over competition. Yes. Uh, we truly yes. feel like you know you know bringing together a lot of these creators were a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. Um, and we got to protect our art because Disney might come in and, and buy this show too. <laughs> I know they might be about to knock <laughs> on the door know, right now. now. Yo, if I hear Disney getting to esports. <laughs> Or anything like that. But you give know, I'm about time. to say, give it. Yeah. They probably already working on it. Give speed. it time. Yeah. Yeah. If they come through that door, I'm looking like a hooker. That's, <laughs> <laughs> show, me, show me the money. What I'll be that? ready. What does that look like? Oh, it looks like that. Right. What, what you want? <laughs> like, which, which piece do we you want? We got like? what you want. I tell you what we offer. We got, we got the leg, bone, and the thigh. If you want, I can get it. Just lifting up a little bit. I yeah, I'm yeah. doing everything. I'm you got to be yourself. You got to be yourself. <laughs> I'm going crazy. You want to see my ankle? You know, I'm going crazy. <laughs> Trust and believe. Dizzy coming here. <laughs> over with. That's a good point. Yeah, Dizzy, what? yeah. Bring that energy over here, man. <laughs> what what, what, what year are we in? You shut off ankles and people going to be appeased by that. Man, I don't know. Early hey, 2000s? Okay, no, I got it. Okay. okay. I don't know, that used to be a thing, though. Late 90s? It used to be. Uh, probably. Sense. 83, something oh, like that. Fapper girl. I got that was like 1910. You see some ankle, you get all excited. <laughs> I got it with that one. No, <laughs> oh, man, that's curry. You got to go slow. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Currently, they just whoosh, everything out here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no hose bars out here. You Shut are, up. again, you are in Atlanta. So, Absolutely. yeah, they do show you all, all the bits. The everything. The drapes and the, and the curtains. The so, drapes yeah. and the curtains. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So uh, I guess um, <laughs> <what happened? laughs> I was about to elaborate. Then I was like, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. I, can't do that. <laughs> I think it's carpet and drapes, but you got it. Uh, yeah. No, oh yeah, I, carpet yeah. and drapes. That's right. Carpet and drapes. Don't just read. Just okay, say what you about. Don't, that's don't, why I lied because you went. Don't, don't you went type to the it question, in. I was don't, like, good. Oh yeah, don't, don't type don't that type, in. Don't type it in. <laughs> Don't 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 type in does the carpet match the drapes. Don't don't yeah, type don't in. do that. I like how you keep giving them more detail. <laughs> don't do this. Make sure you put a period, but don't do it. Yeah, and make sure you don't do it. <laughs> well, shout out to my browser history. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't want to scrub that thing when you're done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't want no problems out here in these streets. So uh, so yeah, man, this is really dope, man. So I guess um. Do you have like any platforms or? Yeah, so um, it's FTO Nerd Talk. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Yes. Oof. Wow, I did it. Yes, okay. you did. You should, you yes, see, you did. You, you should see my. No you should listen to my podcast. Yeah, my podcast. I do it every single time. I flip it up. <laughs> like it's, I miss one or two, and I don't write them down. I'm not very. Yeah. I'm not very good at like you know promoting myself. I'll get there. I mean, I think you do a pretty good job. I like hey. the, I like the Instagram. Y'all gotta check out his yes. Instagram. Really dope. Very very funny. I was laughing. I was rolling, and I was also <laughs> informed. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what's really important. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's the trifecta. Yeah, that that is. I I love the mission. You know, definitely would love to support. I like what you're doing, especially um, kind of bringing all these guys together. Uh, my goal is to definitely uh, get a, a a comic book <clears throat> strip of uh, I guess Welcome to the Wall. I think I could be like play like a Superman or something like Superbro. I could probably find somebody for you. Okay, not really. Yeah. Super, super bro. Super bro. I caught it too. I'll be super bro. I'll be like a super bro. <laughs> it's super bro. <laughs> Super like bro. I know, I know mostly like legit comic book artists and creators. But uh, if you want like more like you know humorous, I can probably look into that for you. Oh, oh, that yeah. could be a thing. Yeah. What's, what's oh yeah, we, we gotta there's we gotta a, look into that. There's a comic book company called Concrete Comics with a K. Yeah, mm. I'm shouting them out to you right now. Like Shout out. they're uh, they're in Jersey. They got okay. they're trying to Ooh. they're trying to compete with Marvel in DC right now. And like their Love stuff it. is 
as the kids would say, dope. Okay. Mm. Yeah. It's, uh, hey, it's dope. It's dope. So. I keep saying lit, but I, like no one's saying that anymore. So <laughs> no. yeah. No, I think dope is the chosen it's, it's, word. But like it's old. It's like from the seventies. But you know, it's whatever. Really? Yeah. They mean, said dope in the seventies? Like, yeah, that's dope. Oh wow. Yeah, they're just bringing it back. But hey, I still like lit. saying dope. It's just a natural thing. Yeah, they they say dope that's a lot. Lit. How do you say dope, lit? Dope, dope, dope. You gotta sound <laughs> sleepy when you say it. Cool, cool, cool. That's lit. I don't know. You can't I don't, say it like that. I don't like saying it because I feel like I'm starting to sound like an old head. Like, oh, come on now. Dope or lit? Or both? It's there's lit. No, there's nothing, wrong with, it's lit. There's nothing wrong with being an old head. Just, you yeah. know, as, as the oldest in the room right now, it's not that bad. I'm just saying. I'm like, telling you, you just got to okay, sound. Maybe it's personal for me. Like, it's lit. It just don't sound it's like lit. Well, I, I will never say that. You can't be excited. It sounds weird. You yeah. can't be excited yeah. about saying lit. Every day I'm yeah, lit. Yeah, but that's lit, bro. Every I think. Like, lit. you can't be I like. That's lit. That's what it is. Yeah. It's cool song, but just organically, like, personally. Yo, that's lit. You gotta be, you gotta be chipper as hell when you're talking about it. Yeah, yeah. damn lit. man, that's lit. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so I guess we can, I guess close out. Um, would you stay around for the the next? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, what else am I gonna be? Doing? I'm out of here. I'm well, gonna go to work <laughs> like a normal person. You crazy? <laughs> so we got. So so we'll close this one out. Yes. Uh, we'll find him. Find you. Find him on FTO Nerd Talk. You guys, please, please do uh, check him out. Also, um, you know our social media as well. Welcome to Wild Podcast, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, um, and Twitter as well. So yeah. yes. So, yeah, that's it. So, as always, (laughs) believe in yourself and get money. Deuce. Deuce.